Hey guys, um, welcome. Yeah, so on my um, very first example of mathematical induction, um, I proved that the sum of the first n integers has uh, the formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And in that video, I said that there's a much more clever and much more succinct proof of uh, this statement. The induction proof is longer than necessary. So here is that um, short and sweet and clever proof of um, this formula. All right, so what we're going to do to start um, is write proof. <laughs> and then next, we're going to write uh, that the sum of the first n integers is called Sn, like we started. Yeah? Cool. All right. Um, and then what we're going to do is write this Sn uh, with the terms reversed. So we're going to write... Um, the end first and then yeah like end with one right so basically i just rewrote s n with the terms reversed completely right okay cool otherwise it's still s n because we're still adding the same things which namely the first n integers okay now why it suits me to write um this uh second sum in reverse which is the same as the first sum is now um that we have them stacked in this way what we're going to do is add them pairwise so as they're lined up. So we're going to add the two equations together. So when we add, look at what happens. One pairs with n, and then two pairs with n minus 1. And the same kind of pairing happens on either end, right? Like 1 in n, and then 2 in n minus 1 here, 2 in n minus 1 here, and 1 in n. And of course, to the right of the equal sign, sn and sn add to 2sn. Now, so um, you can write out more terms in the middle, but wh what happens is every pair is going to have the sum n plus 1. And it's fairly obvious with 1 and n, but it's just as obvious with 2 and n minus 1. They add to n plus 1. So we've got n pairs, all of whom add to n plus 1. So what we have on the left side is n n plus 1s, but that means that we have n times n plus 1 on the left side. And on the right side, as I said, we have 2sn. And so at this point, you see the end, right? All we have left to do is divide by 2 on both sides of the very last equation we wrote here at the bottom. And we've got that the desired formula um, matches what we expected, which is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching.